Let's talk about angle bisectors, but this time in a triangle. Angle bisectors still cut an angle in half, so that hasn't changed. The only thing that's different is now that we're going to be inside of a triangle, which means we're going to be applying the triangle, the three angle sum always adds up to 180, to solve different types of equations and little puzzle problems. So let's just start. Um, BD is an angle bisector in the first one. So what that means is it's cutting angle ABC in half and we're going to find the measure of angle 1 and 2. So BD is a segment that cuts angle B in half meaning angle 1 will be congruent to angle 2 because that's what an angle bisector does. But now we need to step outside and think about what that angle was in the first place. So triangles will always add up to 180 degrees which means if this guy was 60 and this guy is 80 then originally this had to add up to 180 degrees so if this is 140 this was originally 40 degrees. So now we just have to step back inside if this entire angle was 40 degrees and got cut in half angle 1 and angle 2 are each 20 degrees. Example number two is a very similar type of question, so what I would like you to do is pause the video and give it a try on your own. As soon as you are done, click play and we'll see if you got it correct and I will give you the step-by-step -step to see what you can do. Give it a try. Okay, let's see what you did. Since BD is an angle bisector again, we know that these two are going to be the same. So if we have this is 30, then that means this guy is 30. So let's step outside again. These both add up to 60. So the top angle is 60 degrees and angle A is 70 degrees. So to find angle C, the only thing we have to do again is figure out what will make that add up to 180 degrees. So 60 and 70 adds up to 130, meaning the missing angle has to be 50 degrees. So angle C is 50 degrees. And you can always plug them in and check and just kind of add them back up, but that's what you needed to get. Last example throws algebra into the picture. So CD is an angle bisector. So we have these two angles, again CD. Um, cuts angle ACB in half so these two are going to be equal again so what we're going to do here is first set our two equations equal to each other so we have 2x plus 16 is equal to 3x minus 4 which means x is equal to 20 now that we have 20 we have to use it to find the measure of angle 1 so we're going to substitute 20 back in so 2 times 20 plus 16 is going to give us 56 and th we know this is supposed to be the exact same but a lot of times you want to plug it back in just to be sure that you did it correctly. So 3 times 20 is 60 minus 4 is still 56. So you know you did that part correctly. That means this entire angle when we add it together is 112 degrees. So from there we just need to find the measure of angle 1. So if this is 20 and this is 112, we have 132 degrees and subtract that from 180 and we find out the measure of angle 1 is going to be 48 degrees because that will make it add up to 180 degrees. Alright, that's it for this video on angle bisectors. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.